people. Unfortunately, they don't give you a dog with bees in his mouth that when it barks it shoots bees, but uh, they give you the next best thing. You can equip some honeycomb. Uh, bees! Good day to you all. So today uh, I'm doing a boss fight. It's going to be the Queen Bee boss fight. Um, so yes, I'm catching up on a little uh, Terraria action here. Um, so the Queen Bee, obviously in the jungle, I found it thought it might be appropriate to wear my jungle armor. Um, also partly because that way I would have lots of mana for my mythical diamond staff and maybe my Medusa head. We'll see what happens here. I've never fought the Queen Bee before. Um, so there's two ways you can summon the Queen Bee. Uh, one, obviously, is to break into a hive, as I've tunneled my way in right here. And uh, if you destroy a larva, which is that little guy kind of struggling along over there, um, then the queen bee is supposed to come. Uh, the other way is to create the abomination, uh, which you can do with the materials I've assembled here. Five honey blocks, one stinger, five uh, hive bits, which you'll get, of course, by uh, digging, uh, breaking off bits of the hive. Um, although you won't actually get one of these for every single block that you uh, cut. You will get them for some of them, and some of them become bees, and some of them become uh, honey. Um, and you also need bottled honey, which is just a matter of standing basically in or near honey with a bottle. <laughs> so you need those those items. And then you can craft that, and it's right here, the abomination, which is looks kind of like a melted bee. So I'm just going to go ahead and craft that. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking I'll fight her twice and I'll tell you about why a little later. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's hope that I'm ready. Oh, yep, Queen Bee has awoken and I have not prepared. Uh, so she has three attack patterns. One is the charge, which she is using. <laughs> and uh, of course you can dodge that. Uh, here we go. All right. As usual, I'm not, you know, like well prepared or anything, but uh, I guess I have pretty good equipment. Um, so, of course, having like double or triple jump is helpful. Not getting stuck in the honey is helpful. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the other thing where she spawns bees. You can kill the bees, of course. So, um, yeah, I, I'm mostly relying on my nice mythical diamond staff, but uh, I do also have a star cannon. Let's. Uh, Give that a shot. Oh, yeah, the charge, of course, again, this is the double or triple jump, which I do have. Are you done charging? Yeah, I guess she's done charging. But yeah, the star cannon's useful. Look at that. Oh, okay, there is apparently a glitch where she'll get stuck sometimes. Oh, she didn't get fully stuck, though. Alright, don't worry. I'm going to fight her again, so I'll wuss out less the next time, maybe. There we go. Achievement unlocked. Sting operation. So you can do it, as simple as that. Um, just for the sake of um, doing this the next time. But okay, so this is the key. Uh, as far as loot that you get um, for defeating the Queen Bee, one of them is the Bee Wax. And if you want to make the Bee Armor, you need the Bee Wax, because that's what it's made from. Um, and then this is one of the... There's three or four items that you can also get. Uh, one is this beekeeper, which is a sword, uh, which also spawns bees, I think. Yeah, summons killer bees. Let's give it a shot. Um, yeah, maybe that's only when you hit people. Uh, so that's one of the things. And then there's the queen bee trophy is a little more rare, whether you get that or not. Uh, bee nades, you have a 75% chance of getting some of these bee nades, which are just grenades that spawn bees. Um, and bees basically just fight on your behalf. They'll attack your enemies a little bit and, and then go away. Um, which is what the beekeeper, or the, sorry, the bee armor, it's not the beekeeper armor, it's the bee armor, um, is all about. It's, it's the first um, summoner or minion based armor that you can get in the game. The only one you can get before uh, hard mode. Oh yeah, and there we go. The witch doctor has arrived. That's another thing that you get for defeating the queen bee. Uh, hive wand, this is another more rare one. Uh, which allows you to actually place hive pieces. So I've got some hive pieces. I can go fix up that entrance if I want. But uh, that's not actually what I'm doing right now. So let's uh, just fight the queen bee again so I can get some more bee wax so that I can show you the bee armor. Um, all right. But what it, before I do that, uh, as I was just about to say there, um, maybe it would be easier if I make a platform so I don't fall in the honey. <laughs> you know.
know, details, details, people. Um, all right, so let's do that. Here we go. Come on back, Queen B. There, see, now I can dodge those charges a little easier. So three attack patterns. Charging horizontally. Summoning bees. And, oh, this is the third one, actually, the stingers. She'll just sit there and keep firing stingers at you. So you can see, a little minor preparation. Yeah, and then there's the bees. When she spawns the bees, you're going to want to kill the bees. Because the bees, they're going to hurt you. Which is their job. Defending their their queen and their hive. Oh, we're back to uh, the hornet style. Uh, yeah, just a, actually a regular jump even seems to do the job. But having a, I actually have a triple jump right now, which uh, is pretty good. Uh, now's about right for a healing potion. See, it's a little tougher if you don't have, you know, the star cannon. I do have the star cannon, but I'm going to resist using it for a little while. Um, yeah, just having a powerful weapon obviously makes this a lot easier. It's a long fight. Um, if you're using something like this, this is uh, 26 damage. I could, of course, also use the meteor armor with the... Uh, Space gun. I mean, I can still use the space gun with this armor too, but uh, just being able to fire unlimited is helpful. But I'm still winning, although she's got me down below half my health, oh, and I can't uh, use another health potion quite yet. All right, let's break out the star cannon. Oh. I'd like some stars to the face, Queen Bee. Uh -oh. Out of stars. Nearly out of life. Haha. <laughs> Cheated that death. <laughs> so as you can see, I mean, as long as you're prepared and you have decent weaponry, decent armor, um, it's not like I'm playing that well. <laughs> Let's not pretend. No grandstanding here. There we go. Defeated her again. And now I've got, uh, yeah, I need 30 bee wax to craft the bee armor. So let's go back and do that. Oh, and this time I got the bee's knees. This is uh, one of the other, um, you have a third chance of getting one of uh, three or four weapons. Uh, PC version, I think, has four. Consoles have three. Um, those are... The bee gun, which I did not get. The beekeeper, which I got the first time, uh, which is a sword. Uh, the bee's knees, which is this bow that I just got. So let's just put that there. And, um, oh, and honeycomb. Oh, I got honeycomb as well. Nice. So you can actually equip this. Um, so this is an accessory which you can put in your equipment slot over here and when you get damaged it's going to shoot bees at people. Unfortunately they don't give you a dog with bees in its mouth and when it barks it shoots bees but uh, they give you the next best thing. You can equip some honeycomb. Um, as far as I know you can't get a dog that shoots bees. You can get a gun that shoots bees but not a dog that shoots bees. Oh yeah that's uh, that's my secret stash. Um, Alright so yeah, and you also get some bottled honey each time you defeat her, and you get some of these other random items a little bit. Um, and the witch doctor, so where's he at? So let's see, housing. There we go, Kona, the witch doctor. I'll assign him. I do have a house available. Um, I'm not sure where he is right now. I guess I could look at my map. You can buy some stuff from him. It's actually better to put the witch doctor in a house in the jungle, so I'll probably do that later, uh, because there's certain things you can only buy from him. Um, if the house that he's in is in the jungle. So uh, just a little tip there. I'll link you to the wiki um, on the, I suppose, the uh, queen bee and the witch doctor. Um, so let's try to make that uh, bee armor. And I might even be able to make, there's a third thing you can make. Oh yeah, here we go. Bee headgear. Yeah, this is the one, the hornet staff. So let's... Uh, check out our bee armor here. 
Oh, I am going to need more space. I'm going to need to drop some stuff, maybe. Or maybe I'll just uh, cheat and use the trash slot temporarily. <laughs> All right. Um... Okay, you know what? I don't really need honey blocks that badly. Okay, so, and then we can... Oh. Okay. I can't quite do the uh, the other thing. That's too bad. You need a little bit more to do the, the full set um, with the staff, uh, which, again, I think it just shoots bees, but uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong there. Okay, so I have bee armor. I don't think that gives me an automatic minion, though. Anyway, it increases uh, how many minions you can have. Or maybe that's... Uh, I haven't used minions, so anyway, B armor. There you go. <laughs> I, th I think actually... Uh, let's try the, the bow. Um, I think it, it increases how many minions you can uh, have active at one time. So... Okay, so those are fancy pants uh, arrows. Let's see... Yeah, see. So if you use regular wooden arrows, they turn into like a line of bees. <laughs> I don't have any uh, enemies nearby. Let's go see if I can find some enemies. Um, but that's the idea. It requires uh, 30 of the beeswax to make the bee armor, and you can get some minions, and uh, it increases the number of minions you can have. Yeah, I think you can have one normally, and you can have like three with uh, the bee armor. So, yep. Yeah, queen bee boss fight. Um... Is there anything I missed? Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, see, there you go. Bees, bees, bees. Kill them, my bees. All right. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that. Let's uh, let's get this zombie here. See. You notice it's not just the hit from the arrow. It's the hits from the bees. The bees spawn, and they just last long enough to kill the guys. Um, so you get the idea. Um... Any of these. Actually, let's let's show you the beekeeper as well. The sword that uh, I think shoots bees. <laughs> no dog that shoots bees, but you can have a sword that shoots bees. Oh, but they won't spawn underwater, so that's a problem. Yep, see, bees. Bees! You have a sword that shoots bees! But only if, you know, you have strong enough opponents to actually last long enough to show you that well. But uh, if you're watching closely, sword that shoots bees. Oh, here we go. This guy. This guy wants some bees. Have some bees. Uh, even he. He's too weak, too. Anyway, you get the idea. Arrows that shoot bees. Sword that shoots bees. Gun that shoots bees. It's fun. <laughs> have some bees. See, they just keep attacking, and then people die. It becomes useful. Kill them, my bees. All right. So, like, you kill the queen bee, and you become the queen bee, sort of? Not not really, though. But uh, anyway, hope you liked the video. Uh, quick boss fight for you. And um, I guess we'll see you next time. Uh, sorry for joining on. <laughs> uh, next time, uh, actually, I'm not sure. I have a bunch of plans for Terraria videos. Um, so uh, just subscribe because I'm going to continue with my Terraria videos and, and uh, Terraria Otherworld actually isn't that far away, uh, hopefully. <laughs> you can check out my video on that as well, of course. Uh, so thanks for watching. See you next time. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. And uh, tell me what you want to see because I got lots of plans too. Uh, I'm going to show you how to find floating islands easier, uh, some more utilities, go to the underworld, aka hell, uh, do some boss fights, go to the dungeon, Skeletron, all that stuff. Stay tuned. Please subscribe. See you next time.